Creating patterns in Illustrator have always been a bit intimidating to many users, causing them to avoid the process of creating patterns altogether. Illustrator CS6 introduces a simplified yet powerful way to create and edit patterns without the complexity required in previous versions of Illustrator. Let's take a look at how the new pattern editing mode works. To begin, I'm going to start by going to the File menu and choosing New. And I'm going to create a new document that's about 10 inches by 10 inches, just to give me plenty of room to work for this exercise. I'm going to click OK, and you'll see that my artboard is now 10 by 10 inches, and I can begin working with patterns. Now the first thing I want to show you is how patterns have always worked and how we continue to use patterns in Illustrator. I'm just going to draw any shape. In this example, I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I'm going to click and drag to draw a shape. I'm going to make sure my fill indicator is frontmost down here at the bottom of my tools panel. And then I'm going to come over here to my swatches panel. Now, down here at the bottom, we have a little button that allows us to filter the types of swatches that are displayed in my swatches panel. I'm going to click on that button and I'm just going to choose pattern swatches. And you'll notice that only the patterns that are available are inside of the swatches panel. So I'm just going to click on one of these and you'll notice immediately that the shape that I have selected is filled with the pattern that I've chosen. You can click on another pattern to fill the shape with a different pattern. Now let's take a look at how we can create our own patterns inside of Illustrator. I'm going to go ahead and switch to my selection tool, make sure this object is selected, and press the delete key on my keyboard. Now to create a pattern in Illustrator CS6, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the object menu, come down to pattern, and I'm going to choose make. Now it's going to tell you that the new pattern has been added to the swatches panel automatically. You can see that right here is the new swatch or the new pattern that's been created. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And the way that the new pattern editing mode works is that it shows me a tile right here. And this is essentially the area of the pattern that gets repeated. So you'll notice also that over here on the left, we have a new panel that pops up called the pattern options. Now, one of the things I can do in here is I can change the size of my tile. So for now, I'll just keep it at the default. And the easiest way to work with patterns is to start experimenting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the bottom of the swatches panel and I'm going to click on show all swatches because I want to set my foreground color to white to begin. So I'll click on the white swatch and then we're going to make sure that the stroke is black. Now what I'm going to do to experiment here is I'm going to select the ellipse tool and I'm just going to start drawing shapes inside of my pattern tile. You'll notice that immediately after I do that, it's already repeating my pattern based on this tile. So if I just continue drawing shapes within that tiled area, it's going to continue creating my pattern exactly the way that I want it. And before you know it, you've got a really interesting pattern that you can use. There's really no limit to what you can do here. We can grab a different shape, start adding a couple of squares in here and rectangles. And before you know it, you've got quite an interesting pattern going on. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my selection tool. I'm going to press Command A on Mac or Control A on Windows and then press Delete. And that just selects all of the shapes within my pattern and removes it. The other thing we can do up here is we can give our pattern a name. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the name. I'm just going to call this one Circles. Now, for the width and height of my tile, I find it useful to create an even number. That way, if you're trying to create symmetrical or more complex patterns, it's a lot easier to adjust. So for my width and height, I'm going to go ahead and enter one and a quarter inches in both of the fields. That gives me a nice round number to work with. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my ellipse tool and I'm going to go ahead and click anywhere within the artboard to create a new ellipse at a predefined size. So I'm going to make this ellipse one inch by one inch. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll see that that circle has been created. Now what I'm going to do is switch to my selection tool. And I'm going to set the stroke to none by clicking on the none button. Then I'll go back to the fill indicator. Come over to my swatches panel. 
I'm going to go ahead and fill this shape with red. And right away you can see how this is being tiled. Now I'm going to move this over and I'm going to go ahead and drag that to the center of the tile. And you can see my smart guides coming into play as I'm moving that. And you can see as I move this, it's readjusting things. Now what I'm going to do here is for the tile type, I'm going to go ahead and change that to brick by row. And I'm going to let it offset it by a half. And this is another great way to create interesting patterns. So let's move that into the center here. You can see as I move this in here, it's adjusting. And that's because right now I have Move Tile with Art selected. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. Now if I move this over, we should be able to position it right in the center of the tile area. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold down the Option key on Mac, the Alt key on Windows, and I'm just going to drag straight up and I'm going to go ahead and align the top of that circle with the top of the tile and I'm going to change the color. I'm going to go ahead and use green this time. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold down the Option key or the Alt key and drag straight down and create a shape at the bottom. Let's give this one an even different color. So you can see how as I'm doing this it's creating a really interesting pattern. Now I'm going to do one more Let's make a copy of this and put this over here on the right edge of the panel. And let's go ahead and make this one blue. And now you can see before you realize you've got a really interesting pattern that's being created out of those four basic shapes. Now in addition at the bottom here you have the ability to change how the tiles overlap. So you can see by default left in front is turned on. If I click the next button right in front will be enabled and now it's overlapping slightly differently. Same thing for these two icons. Right now the top is in front. I can click bottom in front to also change how these elements are being stacked. So you can experiment as you wish. Down here under copies, this is just the number of copies it's creating when you're in this editing mode. Now when you're done creating your pattern, you'll notice up here the whole time we've been in what's called pattern editing mode. And you can certainly hit cancel if you don't like what you're doing. You can hit save a copy if you want to keep this version, but then keep modifying or experimenting with your tile. And you can also click the done button. So if I click done, you'll notice that everything kind of disappears here. But if you look in your swatches panel, you'll notice that if you hover over this last pattern swatch, it has the name that we gave this pattern. So we have the circles pattern created, Let's go ahead and create another shape. This time I'll use the ellipse. You can hold down the shift key on my keyboard to make a perfect circle. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that pattern to fill the shape with that pattern. And you can see that very easily we've been able to create a really interesting pattern using this pattern editing mode. Feel free to experiment on your own and you'll come up with a lot of interesting patterns that you can create and use in your own artwork. As you can see, creating patterns in Illustrator CS6 is easier than ever. If you're new to Illustrator, you'll appreciate the ease at which you can create patterns. And if you're a seasoned veteran, you'll enjoy the improvements that Adobe has made to the process of creating patterns inside of Illustrator.